hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified in this tutorial today i'm going to show you how to design a birthday book cover using photoshop so let's get started so here i'm going to use legal select it then i'm going to turn it to landscape over here then i'll leave the resolution at 300 then click on grids so here we are now go to your guideline select 50 percent then go back again Select 45%. Fifty-five percent. Then five percent. Ninety five per cent, then change it to horizontal five per cent, then ninety five per cent. Okay. I can now use my mouse to bring the guideline over here. Then at the bottom, the side left and the side right. Okay. So the next thing now, select your right angle. Then you come over here, draw a right angle. So this is the color I'm going to use. Here is the first one. Copy it, Control C. Then select a gradient overlay. So here you can see everything has already been set in here. So then I write them here so that you can make use of it. Then click OK. All right. Now, again, select your pen tool. Then click over here. Then you come over here. Then you drag it like this. Hold your control key drag it like this this way is okay then hold your alt key you click here then you come here you close it all right now drop it Select this color over here. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then duplicate the layer, Ctrl J. Then you reduce it. Then you copy this color, Ctrl C. Then Ctrl V to paste. So this is what you have. Then use your mouse to drag it up like this.
All right. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Control J. Hold your Shift key, then and drag it here. Then I'm going to bring this image I will position it here Select your rent angle, come over here, then you draw like this, leave it at white, then curve it by 21. Okay, then hold your shift key then to drag it up a little. Now I'm going to pick a line. Then draw a line over here. Hold your shift key while drawing. then apply black color then increase it by three then before i continue I'm going to copy this test. Then I will draw a rent angle over here. Okay. Then Duplicate Ctrl J Then I will remove the fill color Then increase the line by 3 and then apply the stroke black color. Then select your test tool. Ctrl V to paste. Reduce the font size Bring it up here Okay
then copy this name here control c select your test tool then control v to paste drag it over here reduce the size then i'm going to change the font to this font here monotype then duplicate it ctrl j then copy the text here ctrl j again then you drag it down here come over here to copy this text Ctrl J again, you bring it down, then you copy the last one. Ctrl V to paste, then Ctrl J to duplicate this line, Ctrl J again to duplicate it, Ctrl J again to duplicate. okay now this is what we have then i'm going to apply a drop shadow over the rectangle then you can see the number here the distance is zero spread 14 then and the size 29 my opacity is 73 and the blending mode is normal okay then create a new layer i'm going to select brush then i'm going to apply this half tune i will click over here Then I'll come over here, click, then I'm going to the top again, over here, I'll click, then over here, I will click. Then reduce the opacity. 36 is okay. Then copy the bed date test. Select your test tool. Then control V to paste. Change the color to white. Then change the font to Lato. Then make it bold. I'll position it over here. Then 
drag it then I'm going to cut this one Control X to cut then select your test tool again Control V to paste Then I'll drag this one over here. Then increase the character space. Then use your mouse to drag it over here. Alright, the next thing again is to copy the name, Control C, then select your test tool, Control V to paste, then close the character space by zero copy this color code ctrl v then i'm going to use this font here, Cinematographica. Sorry if I did not pronounce it well. Copy again, Ctrl C. Now, I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl J, drag it up, then you bring it down, then Ctrl V to paste, then close the character space. Then I'm going to use this color over here. Then change the font to Lato Bold. Then copy the sign of plus. Then I'm going to draw a cycle over here like this is okay then I will use this color apply a drop shadow Then duplicate this one, Ctrl J. Then Ctrl V to paste. Change it to white. Make it bolder. All right. Then apply vertical and horizontal alignment. Select your test tool. Then type one. 
then change the color to this bring it over here okay then I will drag it over here then I'm going to copy the dates duplicate this one drag it over here ctrl v to paste then change the color to white then copy this one ctrl j to duplicate this one Ctrl V to paste Then reduce the size Position it over them Then come back again to copy the months Then duplicate this one Ctrl J Drag it over here then Ctrl V to paste. Then you reduce the size. Then increase this one a bit like this. Then use your arrow key to move it up this way. Alright. Now I'm going to apply a drop shadow. It's okay. Then hold your Alt key, drag and drop. That is to copy the layer style and paste. So now the next thing to do again, I'm going to the other side that is the back page then i'm going to group this one but before i group it i'm going to bring a rent angle over here Then I'm going to copy this color here. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then duplicate this one. Take this one up, then copy this color code, Ctrl V to paste, then apply your layer mask, 
then you blend over here like this okay reduce this one to this area okay now select your pen tool come over here somewhere here then you click then come over here and you drop it hold your control key then make it this way hold your alt key click here then click over here then this way is okay then i'm going to use this color ctrl c then ctrl v to paste then ctrl j to duplicate this one Then copy this color, Ctrl C. Now Ctrl V to paste. Then bring this one down like this. Select the tool, then take it up like this. Okay. Then duplicate this one again, Ctrl J. Then you copy the last one, then Ctrl V to paste. Now bring this one to the center of it like this, then rotate it a bit this way. Then right click, then create a clipping mask. Then I'm going to apply a drop shadow over here. You can see the infert. Then this is 27, the spread is 8. Then and the distance is 0. I'll leave it like this. Okay. Then hold your shift uh, alt key. Then you drag it down to the first shape. You can see. Alright. Then I'm going to group it. Then Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then I will drag this one over here. Like this. Then scale it out all right 
So that is it. Now drag this one to Photoshop. Then reduce the size. Position it over here. Okay. The last one, I'm going to bring this one. Then position it over the end. Then I'll scale it this way. Then hold your shift key to drag this one. So that is on. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like and share.